Okay, so today we're gonna go from this to this. Also, before we start the video, don't forget to subscribe because we're trying to hit some subscribers. What's up, mother? Hey, you already know who it is. It's your boy. And today, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this shout out remix of PIMP by 50 Cent. So, yes, that is correct. We have another music remix shout out Mumaton Afro Dance Hall tutorial right here. Anyhow, I don't have much time, so let's just get right into it, shall we? To start off for good shout I tried to keep the range of the BPM somewhere near 100, so in this case I used 100 as my go-to BPM. The project that I made looks a little bit something like this, so it's kind of big but not too crazy. The first thing I did was go over to YouTube to find the acapella of the song, which I'm not gonna play because copyright, but you basically know what it sounds like. I don't know what you heard about me. I wanted to go to YouTube to find a nice instrumental, but only like the carimba and the guitar and that sort of stuff, but I couldn't really find one. What I did find, however, is an FLP of someone who remade the song. In this FLP, he extracted the carimba sounds and the bass or the guitar or whatever you want to call it. So I cut those basically out of the video and I made them look a little bit something like this. So this is the carimba. And then we got the bass that sounds like this. Or the guitar. Whatever you want to call it. A very important thing in Shata is the piano, so I always call it the Maurizio style piano. And for this song, I wanted to make three different versions of the piano. So we got this intro. First of all, by the way, I used two different pianos. So I used this FO keys with a preset that I called Maurizio's keys. Sounds a little bit something like this. And then we got Purity, which I have on piano at Vintage EP number two. That one sounds like this. I kept it really simple, the intro piano, but it sounds a little bit something like this. So basically what I do is every single time a chord hits, it's the same as a normal Mumaton snare. So it's like do da 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 da. Every time you hear that da da, that's when a chord hits. The second piano pattern is for the verse. Basically, I wanted to do it a little bit different than the first one that we have in the intro. So it sounds a little bit something like this. It's very similar, just a little bit different. And then for the drop, we have a piano that's a little bit more simple. So it's like da, 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 instead of like the whole Mumaton snare rhythm. I wanted to add some brass shots as well to make it a little bit more powerful. So luckily for me, Max Wallen just dropped a sample pack on his SoundCloud. Go check that out if you did not do so yet and I stole one of his brasses for this song. The brass gasm brass. Yes, that's the one. But the melody is very simple and it basically just goes like this. The last thing melody wise is the 808 obviously and I used another 808 from the Max Wallen pack. It's the Bumper G. It looks a little bit something like this, so I used the envelope tool as well, put a little bit on the attack, hold all the way up, and then everything else down. The 808 normally sounds like this, and I made this pattern with it. So that one's for the intro, then I have this one in the build-up, or whatever you want to call it. 
So very long, low ones. And then we basically go to the drop, which is the same 808 as in the intro. The kick for Shatta is always very basic. So it's basically just like a Mumaton kick, like this. And then we go over to all the snares and perks that I use in this project. I always think that the snares and perks usually are one of the most important things for Shatta because you have to have these nice circus perks and snares is what I like to call them. I don't know. So I got this one channel which I call perks and snares intro. I think I use it in the drop as well to be fair. So it's not really only the intro. Six different perks and snares are used in this one. So we got this basic snare. We got this Max Wallen snare. A nice rim, a tom, another tom, and this perk. Together it will sound something like this. Another thing that I stole from the Max Wallen pack is this drum loop. Very simple, but it sounded very nice because it had a lot of hi-hats in there. Then we got this Shata loop from my next sample pack. So the Musco sample pack volume three sounds a little bit something like this to get that Shata flow. And to top it off in the drop, we also have this basic hi-hat or shaker or whatever you want to call it loop. I always think it's very important to add the right effects to Shata as well because they have a lot of funny effects like whiplashes and can opens and police alarms and stuff like that. So right here from track 12 to track 17 are most of the effects that I used. So we got this part right here which is kind of full of effects. That sounds a little bit something like this. I think it's in the build up basically a little bit before the drop. Then we get to the drop right there and then we got some extra stuff like here you got the white noise you got some yoshi sound effects the whip um can opener i think this is a cricket sound effect and the gunshot but it sounds a little bit something like this i also just found out this police sign which sounds super super funny with shata as well obviously we have the transition so we got the sweep downs right here at the bottom we got some sweep ups We got some transitions like the symbol. We got this uh, impact with the sweep. This nice transition that I've been using a lot. Uh, it's like a tambourine transition. That one just sounds very, very nice for some reason. And to make the build up more powerful, we added this alarm for my first sample pack. Add it all together and it sounds a little bit something like this. And like I said, I'm going to keep the acapella out because I do not want to get copy strike yet again. I'll turn it on in the drop though, but it sounds a little bit something like this. But it basically sounds a little bit something like that. I dropped this song today, so don't forget to check it out on SoundCloud. And if you want to look at the FOP to see what effects I use and stuff like that, don't forget to head over to the link down below and get the FOP yourself. You can also head over to Patreon, become a Patron, I think it's called, and basically get every single FOP that I make. But that's it for today. Like I said, I don't have much time, so it's a little bit more snappy today. Don't forget to stream the song on SoundCloud. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment down below if you like this tutorial or not, and if it helped you, obviously. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.